Hello friends, hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we have the final update for Pokemon Sword and Shield as we run up to Scarlet and Violet season. It means the dens and everything will be changing permanently going forward until the service finishes. We'll cover all the details in today's video about how you can access this event and everything that's included within it. But before we get into today's video, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. And remember that you can always unsubscribe at a later date. The final update is here and we have it running from the 1st of November which is as of recording this video until the end of service so it will be running until the online services for Sword and Shield stop so it will be running for quite a long period when that does come to an end I will do an update on the channel just to make everyone aware that that is no longer running it's going to be exactly the same across both copies of Sword and Shield so there's no differences depending on the version you've got and we'll start off with Pokemon Sword here you're going to have your one star raids for those of you that are just starting out the game remember if you are looking for higher star ratings then you are going to need to have complete the game the more gym badges you get the higher star ratings you can achieve in the den so one star raids you're looking at Blipbug and Sizzlipede. Two star raids are going to be Tutel and Wooloo and your three star raids are going to be Dub, Wool and Orbital. Four star raids are going to be Covenite and Ditto so Ditto obtainable from these raids as well and then we get down to the five star raids which becomes a very long list. You're going to be getting Gigantamax, Kingler, Appleton, Center Scorch, Orbital, Flapple, Sandaconda, Covenite, Grimmsnarl, Garbodor, Alcremie, Dreadnought, Hatterene, Butterfree, Lapras, Toxtricity, Gengar, Duraludon, other alternative form Toxicity, Colossal, Machamp, Copperaja, and Snorlax. So you're going to get all of these Gigantamax Pokemon in one event den. They are all going to be available in one place within the games, which is really handy because otherwise you'd have to go out to the specific dens where these Gigantamax Pokemon were located around the wild area and find them there. But with this event, you are going to have access to be able to get them all in one place which is brilliant like i said it's going to be exactly the same across both copies of the game pokemon sword and shield there is no differences here you're going to get exactly the same pokemon whether or not you've got sword or shield and like i say it is running now from the 1st of november until further notice until end of service so whenever that will be to update your wild area news to get this update you are going to go into mystery gifts you're going to go to get wild area news this will just take a second it will connect you online and then it will update all of the dens in the wild area in crown tundra in isle of armor and you'll be able to access this max raid event den from any of the dens as long as you spawn one of the event den beams so i will be able to show you how you can manipulate the dens to get exactly what gigantamax pokemon you want from these so this is a location i like to use for all of my max raid event den updates it is dappled grove here i'll take the camera off for a minute so you can see exactly where it is on the map i use this location specifically because there are two dens right next to each other so you what you want to be doing is spawning a den when you are trying to manipulate it with a date skip glitch so you want to just come over to a den take the water that are here and then drop a wishing piece into it once a wishing piece is dropped then the beam has to be red it cannot be a purple beam for the max raid event dens and you want to just check what it is if it's a normal regular pokemon that spawns in this den then you know it's not an event beam so you would need to then go to another den but since there's one right next door to us here we can just drop another wishing piece here and try a look again and then once this is spawned as long as it's the red beam then we can check it see if it is a pokemon it's not drop another wishing piece and like i say you want to just try and spawn red beams these are the ones that you want to spawn and there we go we've got the event den spawn straight away we've got a, a, a looks like a gigantamax or beetle we know it doesn't generically spawn here so it is the event den so at this point you can either just carry on or you can be safe by just saving your game make sure that anything goes wrong you can come back to this point and you can start again so or beetle is probably not one of the more desirable ones but it might be one that you need if it's not and you're after something else like gigantamax snorlax what you can do is use the date skip glitch so you want to just click in on the den make sure it is a den that you've spawned with a wishing piece make sure you're not online when you're doing this invite others and then you want to just hit your home menu come down to system settings in your switch down to system down to date and time and then just make sure that your clock is off 
by synchronized via the internet come down to your date and time skip it forward one day and then click ok you want to come back into game and then exit the den once you've done that the weather will change and the den when you click back into it you get 2000 more watts and the pokemon will have changed and you want to just carry on keep doing this process it's a good way to grind watts while you do it but you just want to carry on doing this process until you get the desired pokemon that you're looking for in the den now we've been through this method a bunch of times uh, but just to make sure people retrospectively might be watching this uh, I just after getting the game and may have never done any of the event dens before so just for those people and their benefits see we've got a gmax kingler now so you can kind of keep doing it you just got to make sure that you do the same process and then once you've got the pokemon that you're wanting you can then enter the den and catch it but it's always a good idea just to save in front of the den before you enter it just in case something happens you don't manage to catch it or not and then you've got the opportunity to just reset the game come back to the point that you were at before and then you can go forward so you've got a garbador here so when you've got the pokemon that you're looking for you can go into it either save in front of it now if you don't want to lose it or just go in you can invite friends or just do it yourself the only issue i would say with this update is because of the sheer amount of gigantamax pokemon that are in this den specifically it's going to take a long time to get through each and every pokemon until you find the one that you're after so you're going to have to have a lot of patience with this one to be able to kind of get through and find things like the Snorlax, like the Toxicity that are only available in this event den. Uh, but other than that, I think it's a good event den. It does give you the ability to get all of these Pokemon if you are looking for them and a way to kind of not have to scour around the wild area and pick them up um, in other dens that might, you know, take a long time to do. So friends, that is the final update, like I said, for Pokemon Sword and Shield, the max raid event dens. We've covered pretty much nearly every single one. I think we've only missed two or three of them on the channel. I just want to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you for supporting the videos and the content that we've put out on all of these max raid event dens. And it is sad in a little way that we're going to have no more updates for Sword and Shield, but exciting in another that we've got Scarlet and Violet on the way and we're going to have a bunch more content to cover, especially with those terror raids going forward. So looking forward to covering all of the content on them thank you again to each and every one of you have fun with this last max raid event update and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye